Hello everybody and welcome back to Guided Hacking. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 places to get fresh malware samples. Let's start with number 1, which is the platforms provided by AbuseCH. AbuseCH provides a bunch of different platforms where you can find all kinds of malware. Let's start off with their first platform, which is Malware Bazaar. Malware Bazaar is a database of malware which are provided by the threat intelligence community. On Malware Bazaar, you can see all kinds of different malware and they have signatures attached to them so that you can see what they are without analyzing them. You can start by clicking on a sample that you want to download and it'll provide a bunch of different information about the sample, such as the hash of it, its size and so on. And it's also uploaded to a bunch of different free sandboxes. So if you don't want to already upload it to your own sandbox, you can just go and look at the reports from these. Then once you're done looking through it, you can just go on the download button and then you can just download it. Very easy and all of these malware samples are curated and fresh. So you can find something that you really want to analyze quite easily. Next up is URL House. URL House is similar to Malware Bazaar, but what it does is it categorizes URLs which lead to malware. We can see here that there is a bunch of Mozy botnet samples when first looking at the site. And you can see a bunch of other ones which are indicated by them being online or offline. Just like Malware Bazaar, there are also signatures tied to these URLs. And if you want to download them, all you have to do is just take a URL and download it. Chrome has blocked it here, but you can always just get it anyway. And here's your malware sample ready to analyze. Let's move on to number two. Next up, we have Triage. Triage is a malware sandbox that I've mentioned previously in other videos, which was recently acquired by Recorded Future. As of right now, it's probably the most common malware sandbox used by researchers. And they're nice enough to offer a free report feed of all of the tasks that have gone into their sandbox that are marked as public. Because this is used by services such as Malware Bazaar, we can see some of those samples coming into this service. Scrolling down, we see a bunch of different malware samples, such as Emotet samples and other samples that may also be URLs because Triage supports those too. We can see how malicious it is and then download those samples. To download them, all you have to do is just click on download sample, but while you're at it, you can also see the sandbox run of the malware. So you know if you want to analyze it or not, or if it's what you're looking for. You can also search this site by going to the top on report and clicking on search where you can search by family, hash, and a bunch of different operators and fields to find exactly what you're looking for. Let's go on to the next site. Next up on the list is Malshare. Malshare is like a BCH's Malware Bazaar, but it was created earlier than that platform and is used to simply just upload and download malware samples. This site is commonly used by researchers who just want to host the sample itself without submitting it to sandboxes and other platforms. Again, it's very easy to use with a quick search option. You can upload files. And then also what's nice about this site is that there's a daily digest of all of the samples that have been uploaded to the site. Here you can download each of the samples by their day. This way you can submit these samples to your sandboxes and digest everything that the site has to offer by day. This is incredibly useful for researchers who want to just grab every single piece of malware they can. Let's move on to the next one. Next on the list needs no introduction. It's VX Underground. VX Underground started by sharing papers and tons of different malware collections. It's now evolved into a non-profit organization. Within the archive, we can see all kinds of different pieces of malware. What's nice about VX Underground is that they also share builders to malware. So if you want to look at how malware is cracked and built, or if you just want to build malware for yourself, obviously only for analysis purposes, then you can use some of the builders that they offer. We'll be taking a look at these builders in a future video as I find them incredibly interesting. Then VX Underground also offers its malware collections. It can give you some apt malware, also malware from other platforms, and VX Underground grabs all the malware it can get its hands on. So they're a great source of all kinds of different and a wide variety of malware. I recommend their families collection so you can get definitive malware samples for a given family. These are incredibly useful when you want to analyze a very specific family and you want a good clean sample of it. VX Underground also 
provides a paid database, which I won't show here because it is private, but it's a good platform and costs only $5 a month to get access to. And this will give you more malware samples with a good feed that also includes signatures on those samples. Now let's move on to our final and probably most important source of malware samples. Our last but not least site for fresh malware samples is you guessed it google and the internet you can find whatever you want on the internet but if you're looking for uncategorized and extremely fresh malware you can just use a google search to find that now let me show you how a lot of victims of malware sometimes get infected from fake cracks these cracks pretend to be software that is cracked and the license has been removed commonly you'll see this with people downloading pirated copies of Photoshop and other tools which cost a lot of money and they don't feel like paying for. But malware actors know that people are looking for this software and they'll download it from absolutely anywhere as long as they believe that it's what they want. So they take advantage of this and put their malware into these cracks. So for me to find that, all I have to do is just go Photoshop crack 2022 and I can just search that. Then you can go through all of these websites and if you go to some of the other pages on Google, you'll find some good possibilities of cracked software. Here's a site that I've chosen. It looks like it may be downloading malware because a lot of these different actors will use the same templates and will usually use the same WordPress theme. So going down, I can just click on download. It's gonna put me through a bunch of different traffic TDS systems, traffic detection systems to monitor who's downloading these files. And we'll discuss this in another video, maybe on the theory of how malware is distributed. Then we're brought to this link, which is a bit.ly link, and we're given a file password. Usually these actors will take the malware and zip it or, and archive it into a zip or a raw file. And they'll tell you a password to unlock it with so that when you're downloading it, Google Chrome and Windows Defender don't immediately pick it up because they will scan files that are downloaded from the internet, especially unsigned files and files that they do not know. Then if we were to use this file password, unlock this archive and run the, run the file, it'll result in malware. We'll take a closer look at this in a future video. But I hope that this list was comprehensive and that you found at least one site out of this list that you didn't already know about. Good luck with your malware analysis endeavors and goodbye.